This is a new spot that I'm really, really excited about. And I wanted to show you the steps that I've taken to create this brand new killing spot. So this is an 80 acre piece. Some of this piece has row crop, but the majority of it is actually super thick, old cattle pasture cover that has grown up over the last 20 or 30 years with super evasive type trees. So it's, it's almost too thick. In fact, in some areas it is too thick, which is why I've kind of established this and created what I think is gonna be a dynamite kill spot. So as you can see, when you look through here, it is super thick. This is gonna be awesome for maintaining big bucks and giving them a place to seek refuge. And in fact, the reason this is on my radar is because during the gun season, I see so many deer seek refuge in here because it simply wasn't huntable. So what I've done is I've hired a pulverizer. They came in and created my entry and my exit points, but also created a travel corridor through here so I mapped this out to where we've created a perimeter around this property that the deer can flow and they can follow and they can maneuver within this property and they can still have super thick cover even 30 yards off this path, but they can also hit the path and easily be able to transition whether they're going that way, which leads up to row crop or this way, which is gonna lead deeper into thick cover. So, the what time of year this to me this spot is going to be during the pre-rut and rut when does evacuate the open fields and they're trying to stick to their cover they're not really ready yet and the bucks are in these thick areas putting down the rub lines making scrapes and they're just trying to be on their feet a lot more and they're trying to find those does and those first does and some of the first does that come in might have all those bucks on them and they might just be staged up in the thickest nastiest stuff just waiting because they're not ready and in a lot of cases the lockdown phase is when that doe is in this type of stuff and there's multiple bucks on her and you don't see anything around this type of area because everything's consolidated in that one spot. So when we look at the what, I think this is definitely going to be what time of year. It's going to be pre-rut rut action, okay? Um, when I look at the why are they here, they're definitely here for cover. They're not going to be here for a food source. There is some water in here but they're mainly here for the cover and this is something they can feel safe in a lot. And during the times of years where, or the time of year when those bucks are first starting to become a day walker, first starting to get on their feet, a lot of times they'll be on their feet in a staging area like this, wait until it's dark here, and then they'll move that next three or 400 yards out to the food source where if that's where you are, you just see a black blob come out and here's your target buck and it's too late. Now, when we look at their travel path, they're gonna utilize this travel path that I've created. So in this case, we've got an entryway here. We've got another way leading up there and following that perimeter that way. I wanna hunt this with a wind that's gonna be coming just like this right into my face. So the next thing is how to hunt it. And this is critical because in this place of how am I gonna hunt it, I actually walked this entire 80 acre piece and I literally found one or two trees that had the potential to hold a stand. So if you look here, here's a perfect tree for a stand. Perfect tree, has cover, great cover, I can actually access it from the creek. If I don't want to have to use that, I can come up through the creek right up into that spot. Again, on the app, it tells me this is going to be my most favorable win. So this is where I had this entire pocket opened up in here so that the wind can be in my face. There's my stand location. Bucks are just cruising through. And this is a perfect spot to put a, a decoy in here perfect spot for rattling. You've got so much thickness. If you rattle, they're gonna to wanna to come fast and come quiet. Most likely they're gonna just jump on one of your trails, try to come to that. And if you got the wind in your face, they'll come down and they're gonna to try to button hook this decoy just like this with the wind coming this way to get your scent and boom, there's your strike. 
they come up from the bottom to do the same thing, boom, there's your strike. So this is an awesome little spot that took that pulverizer machine a matter of a few hours to create in this thick, thick, thick stuff that honestly holds a ton of deer. It's a great refuge place during that gun season as well. And just by establishing a little of this and getting a little bit more light down on the ground, there's already fresh green starting to come up through this. And honestly, after this, this compost breaks down in the next year or two, this is something that you could easily overseed and clover, have a nice little clover path that comes through. An awesome spot to sit all day, be in here when the lockdown's happening and everything's in the thick, thick stuff. This is a super cool location. And all I had to do was look at the app, trace the route that I wanted to create with the machine and find the one spot where I could get a tree in all this short timber and I've created a kill zone.